Hi, we are here at uh, Thinsuci.guy. Just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the tests we've been doing on the API for the Recall Theta. This is the Wi-Fi API, the one that you often use when creating mobile apps. The Z1, the V, and the SC2, they're all using the, Go the Google OSC API standard. However, there are some differences between the Z1, the V, and the SC2. Oftentimes, when you take a picture, you want to change things, for, for example, like exposure compensation. When you do this, you probably want to verify that the picture you took actually has the correct value for exposure compensation. If you use the API command, get metadata, with the V and the Z1, you can, ex you can see the exposure compensation bias. With, with that value, it is equivalent to exposure compensation. However, with the SC2, the get metadata command is not returning the correct values for exposure compensation. Well, there's a solution. What you need to do is, in your mobile app or your desktop app, you pull the image down into the mobile app. On, on the mobile app itself, you can then extract the metadata from the image file. The, the, the metadata values are actually correctly saved to the image. So you can see exposure compensation, GPS location, all the other values. We have a document on this, so you can also check that out. Another difference between the APIs, between the Z1, the V, and the SC2, is when you're checking the state, whether the camera is idle or not. This is important because if the camera is not idle, you won't be able to send it another command. This is very apparent in bracket shooting. If you take multiple shots, uh, you can use the state, the OSC states command with the V and the Z1 to see how the camera is doing, whether it's idle. With the SC2, you need to use the OSC state command, and within the OSC state command, there is a status. So it's a value within the OSC state, not using the OSC state command. This is only when you are using bracketed shooting, you're using a start capture, and you're waiting to see when the process is finished. For, uh, if you just do state, take image to for a still image, you could use a OSC state or OSC status with the SC2. So your programs might have worked with the Z1 and the V if you're checking the status of the camera, meaning that uh, you're checking to see what is idle and you can send it another command, such as take another picture. If you don't do this check, your, your command may fail. So, just another thing to be aware of when you're programming for the new SE2. It's a great little camera, very popular, takes great pictures. Just a few differences with the API they have to be aware of. Good luck.